Sheik scared me. <laughs> Sheik scared me, man. I won't go to the canyons with them. I know he told me he's like, hey, we uh, we should we should do something in the canyons. I was like, nah, dude. I I saw what I needed to see with your PCH. Uh, no. I'm like, and if I go, I'll probably just put the GoPro and yeah. I won't get yeah, in the car with I you. Wouldn't. All right, everyone, welcome back to the one of Miami. Today we have Philip. Philip, thank you so much for making the time for us, man. Definitely appreciate your time. Um, tell us, what do you drive? 93 Civic Si. You drive 93 Honda Civic Si. Okay, cool. Before we get into this beautiful build, tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, when do you remember thinking, I like cars, I like modifying them, I like messing with them? Well, I have a lot of buddies that own shops and they do most of the work and I just watch. Okay. Pile the parts, okay. tell them what I want, and then we go from there. So it sounds like, it sounds like me then. Um, was it in high school that you like Hondas or anything like that? No, I grew up doing frame up restoration on Corvettes I was, oh, since I was okay. young and I jumped out of that to come to this because it was cheaper. Oh, it was cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Who had the Corvette? My dad has a shop. My uncle had oh, a shop. Still, oh, yeah. okay. So American Muscle? Yeah, Corvettes, yeah. Corvettes specifically. Hot rods, all that stuff. So when you like were, I guess in the school, were you thinking my first car, I wanted to be like a Corvette, a hot rod or anything well, I like stopped that? working. I stopped working for them when they didn't give me a car when I turned 16. That's mm. when I stopped working for them. Gotcha. They said I wasn't responsible enough. <laughs> they oh. just wanted more free labor. <laughs> oh, shout out to dad and uncle. <laughs> um, so but what was the first car you wanted like at the time? Volkswagen, oval window Volkswagen. Interesting, even though you, you were like kind of introducing to the American muscle. Okay. And why is that? Why is it Volkswagen? They were cheap. They were cheap at the time to, to acquire, and now they're not. Okay. Uh, and then, how do we stumble about the Hondas? Like, when was the first time, I guess, you noticed Hondas? Uh, my buddy James Prunes, he uh, he told me to get a Honda. I was like, all right, cool. So I went and bought a Del Sol. I was going to buy a Civic hatchback, and I called him. I said, hey, does a GSR fit in a Del Sol? He goes, yeah, I'll take this one. Ah. <laughs> so they did. Okay. And then, to pretty much, you built the Del Sol? Yeah. And so that kind of started the bug for you with the Honda. Yeah, we used to go to the street races all the time in it. Green Del Sol, GSR, Nitrous. It was pretty fast. Oh, okay. That's cool, man. How do we stumble upon this specific EG? Uh, my buddy Tony at Lokeworks, one of his customers, he, uh, he just said, hey, I have a shell. You know, I was like, I'm looking for a shell to put my swap in. He's like, I have one. I was like, really? He goes, <laughs> I, he goes yeah. And I was, like, I was like, what is it? He goes, an SI. I go, I'll take it. He goes, you might want to see it first. And I was like, I'll take it. I went by and I looked at it and I was like, triple a tow it because it was in this perfect condition right it was no, already ready no. to, oh okay no, it didn't look anything like this so so he told you might want to look at it first because there was like i guess a little bit of damage to it uh, uh, yeah yes and no I a mean, little the, bit the car, was, the car was pretty much total but i mean you know <laughs> so that the, makes perfect sense philip let's buy a total car and then let's just rebuild it i mean if you have resources it's not a problem there you go especially when the car's free oh okay so the car was free uh, it was practically a shell you said right it was a shell okay gotcha and so at the time you had some other spare parts kind of thinking about it. Now, did you, was it just because it just happened to be the, the EG or were you specifically looking for an EG? I had to, it had to be EG because my swap that came out of my four door that's actually in here right now, the supercharged two liter that's in here, came out of my four door that I gave my buddy Andy. Oh, okay. So everything was ready to drop in. Gotcha. Yeah. And so when you, once you pick up this shell and you have the other car for spare parts, what was the vision for it? 
build a track car because I mean all these guys that I know my buddy Andy he got me into I went to, to a VTAC club event with our other buddy Jack mm -hmm. I met Andy and I was like damn kind of like going here you know like I went as a spectator and I fucking wanted to come back as a driver oh that's dope yeah so have you had the privilege to yeah I've taken this car to a track event already Streets of Willow oh okay yeah how was that it was fun everything but, that you imagined yeah it was fun there was and no there was no interior at all it's kind of dangerous with a, with a lap belt on a regular seat but I had a good time 139 <laughs> it's not bad wow yeah it's Quick not bad driver. at all I mean, Definitely, that's cool, man. Um, so now, obviously, have you taken it to the track since you added all these goodies? No, not yet, but I mean, I'm ready. All right. So whenever, that, whenever they schedule something, they say, let's go, I'm there. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That'd be cool to see this car out there. Yeah. To the headlights, it's just so clean. And then, tell us about your suspension pieces. What do you got going on? Bushings, bearings, I mean, <laughs> coilovers. I mean, everything you could think of. We, we just, like, you know, we refreshed everything. That's cool, man. Yeah. What kind of clothes are you, are you running? Uh, Blocks Competition Series. Okay. It's pretty stiff. Okay. It's pretty stiff. It's fun to drive on. I was gonna get the drag series originally, the but they're way too stiff. Oh. You'd okay. be like bounce. You'd be like you don't even bounce. You just start doing that <laughs> shit. Yeah. There's no bounce to it, man. Yeah. It's just like those are for drag cars. Gotcha. Okay. And so everything else was you know uh, refreshed bushings. Well, it has a we we did the '96 Type R brake uh, brake and tire setup, so it has Ooh. the has the four by one fourteen. Which isn't really common, but I mean, I got it on another deal as a trade. So, you betray the Civic, dudes. Welcome okay. to the the good side. Four well, by one fourteen. These wheels, these wheels fit your Accord. Yes, I know. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, I have a couple of sets of four, four by one fourteen wheels. We're gonna have a chat afterwards. I kind of definitely. Just, oh my that. goodness! Just don't give me that Civic tax. What Civic tax? You know, you guys, you guys charge nah, for everything. I'm, like, I'm realistic. Whatever Civic is, and then plus a thousand bucks, man. It's like the drift tax. Nah. <laughs> Wait, so four by one fourteen. Um, okay. Ninety six Type R. Dope. Okay, so you have bigger brakes, bigger yeah, discs. wheels, everything. It's all matching. Ah, I love that, man. Um, speaking of wheels, tell us about your wheels. What kind of wheels? Specs? Uh, tire size? T thirty seven, fifteen by seven, uh, plus forty three. The Falcon RT six sixties. Mm. And what size are the tires? Uh, Two hundred five fifty. Two hundred five fifty. I love the fitment, man. Is there any rubbing? No. Okay. Man, it just it works so well. It, it, now you knew that you wanted the T's, or you just kind of you stumble upon them. Uh, I hit up some guy, like maybe like six months ago, and I offered him cash, and he said no. Then he hit me up a couple months later. He said, "Hey, I'll give them to you for eighteen hundred bucks," and I was like. Pfft. Send me your info, you know? <laughs> but he, originally he wanted $2,500 for them. Yeah. These are from 96. These are like the, the production dates, like 10, 7, 96. Oh, wow. But they're like brand new. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you haven't, I thought you had uh, refinished them. No, this is. No, this is them? another set. This is another set of wheels. All the, all the sets of wheels, I get them refinished because my buddy at the body shop. Mm. Yeah. I have a set of Beckett's that have been refinished. They're all, they're also white. I had a set cool. of CPRs that had been refinished, but I sold those. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's super cool, man. These are in great condition. Yeah, they're you like brand new. With them. Cool. Tell us about the mirrors. Uh, TCS. TCS. TCS Sport mirrors. And that comes with the plate and everything, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I found those. I found those online also. I had the stock mirrors, but I didn't really like them. Mm -hmm. My buddy took out the harness and everything for the power mirror setup in this car to put in his other car. Man, you guys are just good at re refurbishing everything. That's cool. Nothing goes to waste with you guys. I love that. No, I mean, these parts are kind of hard to come by. Yeah, no, yeah, they're definitely getting harder to, to find, man. That's yeah. crazy. I have, I have almost everything to put together in my other car. <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah, I know a few people like that. That's yeah. crazy. Now, you wanted the SI model, or it just so happens that it was an SI model? Everybody wants the SI. Is that right? Yeah, okay. That's, this, is the, this is the best I think model. everybody wants the CX, no? No. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just saying. That's what's available. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm, okay. I'm not even gonna go there, but I feel like a lot of people want the CX because it's well as the lightest model. But I see a lot of people wanting the SI because obviously sunroof. sunroof and some other goodies that comes with it. But okay, gotcha, gotcha. So no sunroof elite. No. Okay. No. Okay. I, I like, like that. I like looking out. I like looking. Yeah, I like the air. <laughs> okay, I love that. And then the back is very simplistic, right? I mean, yeah. are you planning on adding anything crazy to it? Nah, we're not really gonna add anything to this car. We're just gonna drive it as is. the car's been resprayed for two years now yeah paint's looking great so it, it, it yeah. seems like it's holding on yeah interior exterior the floor engine bay everything wow well let's talk interior if you don't mind opening up the door for us what do we have going on uh, sparkle circuit sparkle circuit tube seat mm -hmm. sparkle steering wheel sparkle pedals 
You like Sparkle, huh? <laughs> I mean, you might as well get it matching, right? Oh man! I found I found pretty good deals on all these parts, so. Oh okay. You know, keep it all keep it all the original. The and same. is this through buddies or just like Facebook Marketplace oh, and offer uh, up? Like my friends find stuff, they send it to me. I find stuff, I send it to I them. I love that. That positive peer pressure. Okay. And tell us about your shifter assembly. Uh hybrid hybrid shift knob, uh, K tune uh, setup, shifter setup, and linkage. K tune. That means there's a K series in there, right? No. Oh no, no. no. hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, my my black car is <laughs> it'll be K series. <laughs> You're like you're getting ahead of yourself. Yeah, not yet. Uh, this whole seat is that is that right? Yeah, the whole seat. Passenger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And then you got it in the back with uh, with the nice woofer. Oh yeah, my buddy Tom at Streamline Audio East LA. That's so cool, man. Yeah, has a nice system. Yeah, I like, I like the, the wall. design. See it? Oh. Okay, and oh, I see it. Okay, so it's just that's yeah, it. Yeah, pop the trunk, pop right there, pull the lever. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the system in the back. Let's check out the system. So, you're like an early uh, 2000s type of modifying kind of guy, man. Well, I mean, you gotta have music. I love this. First time we've seen this. This Custom is super box, cool. Custom box, fiberglass. Oh, wow, okay. Amps on the wall. <laughs> I saw that. That was super cool, man. Yeah. Man, and then the the cage is welded to the yeah. to the actual body. So it's yeah, not cables di cables welded in the cage, but it was actually done at Pick Garage where they made it. Mm. I love the woofer, man. So cool. You gotta have your jams while you're in the track. While you're driving is better. While you're driving. Yeah, I think I'll take it out if I go to the track. Man. I don't get hit with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every pound counts. Okay, man. That's cool. Okay, so you got the car spray inside and out. Um, you like the license plate frame? <laughs> my buddy Tony at Logworks did that for me I like that go P <laughs> instead of Godspeed nice little details any future plans for the interior um uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll put the glove box and all the paneling back in under the dash but I doubt it uh huh it doesn't really need it it's good for for now it's yeah it's, it's good. pretty it's pretty much set I mean as I acquire all the other pieces mm -hmm. or as my buddy gets cars I'll get because I have the bottom panel I was looking for a glove box but black is hard to find mm. Well, yeah. anything's hard to find, but specifically those, yeah. those colors. Well, yeah. clean too. And clean, yeah, yeah. you're right. Okay. I, sp I, could just, I just got another pair of door panels and some other stuff from him that are super clean. So I'm like, you know, a little bit at a time. So this is about as gutted as you're gonna be. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's you want it. that comfort of still driving on the street, right? Okay. Yeah. I had the I had the matching Del Sol uh, driver's seat too, the clean one. Mm -hmm. So if I ever want to take that out just to be normal, if I put air conditioning back in here, I'm gonna put my Del Sol seat back in. Gotcha. Unless I go to a track event. Gotcha. Well. We don't like normal around here, so. Nobody does. Yeah, so we're gonna, hopefully you gut it and you put another bucket seat on the other side instead of putting our normal seat well, on the back. If I get a good deal. I'm sure, I'm sure you will come across a good deal or something that at least you tell yourself is a good deal. No, it looks great, man. I mean, the carpet looks nice, everything about it. The steering wheel seems like a nice size. Um, the interior seems very well put together, man, so I. My buddy Tony at Lokeworks put the whole car together for me. Dope. So he's pretty meticulous, you know? Mm -hmm. A little bit OCD, but that's good. Yeah, yeah, I mean. It comes out clean. De definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, very, very nice. So you said a two liter super something. Yeah, it's a. Let's, let's check out the, the power. Let's see what we got going on. Check out these D series. I don't know if D series came in 2.0s. ZC. <laughs> wow. Very, very clean, man. Um, what are we staring at? Supercharged two liter non VTEC makes power GSR tranny McLeod six puck clutch Jackson Racing supercharger, etc. etc. Well, well, hold on, hold on. We don't, <laughs> we don't want to know, we want to know that, etc. etc. I mean, uh, that was a lot of good information, man. So, tell okay, so let's start with the motor. Uh, did you open it, build it? No, and, no, it's so just a, stock, yeah, stock, okay. B, stock B20B high compression two liter, okay, non VTEC, okay, and then, um coil on plug as well coil on plug custom coil on plug setup okay. with a honda the honda the bluetooth uh s300 what nice jackson racing supercharger custom setup custom pulleys oh and there's no issues no nothing slipping not, everything's no good? i mean gotcha. I, just, I go through the belts pretty much like every like two three months but it just depends on how hard you drive okay yeah but i just changed them to the gates racing one so should be fine for the next month or two <laughs> I thought you were going to say a year or two. No, nah, a month. No, nah, they, they stretch. The, the harder you drive, the, the worse they get. Yeah. That's the only issue. That's my buddy Royer. Yeah. He's, yeah. He definitely knows a little bit about that. Okay. And then, um, okay, transmission, you said. GSR Trans. GSR Stop. Hydro Trans. Yeah, GSR Hydro Trans. 
uh, McLeod six put uh, sup uh, supremacy setup. So it's it, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, clutch. It's, it's true and tested. McLeod six puck supremacy. My buddy Joe works for them, so he hooks me up. Man. Coil radiator, full size, dual fan. Yeah, dude. This is such a cool. I re so so. How, tell us, how did you stumble about the supercharger? You just had it on your my own buddy, setup, right? My buddy Tony at, at Lokeworks had it in a box. <laughs> you know? So it just made sense. I needed oh, to be in your I car. didn't know. I didn't know he had it till our other buddy told me. Uh -huh. that, that's how I. That's how I approached the situation. Uh -huh. And I got it for a really great deal. So uh, you know, might as well. Yeah, yeah, put it to use. Yep. And if you don't mind sharing numbers, has it been tuned? All that yeah, good stuff. It was tuned at high rev by Theo. It made good power. Make good power. There you go. And great torque. <laughs> Keep all your secrets, my friend. No, this is cool though. I really like the setup. Um, you said it, it sounds really healthy. You said it's been healthy. It's been um, this is the second reliable. This is, yeah, this is the second car it's been in. This car's pretty much bulletproof. Mm -hmm. The way the way my buddy Tony set it up, I mean, the only thing I have issues with is the belts, but I mean, that's normal. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just wear and tear from like hard driving. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I have no problems with this car. I love the setup, man. It's an old school setup, and, and you, yeah. you went with the 2.0 uh, non-V, so yeah. that's cool. It's always in VTEC when, when the supercharger's spinning. Oh, there you go. So that's a VTEC. <laughs> that's a big VTEC. It's a that's big a, solenoid. It's a VTEC conversion. <laughs> <laughs> what are the future plans for it, if any? Uh, I, might, I might go K in here. I might, mm. go, I might drop a K motor in here. That's only if this kind of goes away or I even mean, if it's healthy. No, nah, I mean, I could, I could pull this motor and just put it to the side and drop a K motor in here. Uh, I like this. Not everything has to be K. I, I like mean, this. You'd be surprised with the difference. I, K is the way. I, I need, get it. I need a sixth gear because I mean this this car <laughs> this car could smash first to fifth. But once you get on the freeway, <laughs> once they go into sixth gear, RPM. Once, once they go into sixth gear, it's over. They're gone. You know what? Look, K is the way. I get it. But I, I like this old old school setup. I no, think. this is reliable. It's cool, man. Yeah, I this like is it. this is very reliable. I mean, everybody that I know, they they drive their car. Something happens. I take my car out maybe uh -huh. like once or twice a month and I take it to the drag races, whatever. We'll go Sunday street races, whatever. Burnouts for days and just go ahead and park it. Well, I don't cool. even check the oil. Maybe you should check the oil once in a while. Nah, I just changed. Don't be like that core guy. I just had it changed. It's fine. Oh, okay. I just had it changed. My buddy does that at Phillips. Or well, you like that core guys that whenever it stops leaking, then you know like, okay, maybe oh, my car doesn't leak. Nah, okay, okay. My car doesn't leak. Nah. <laughs> nah, my car, nah, nah, my my car, car, car doesn't leak yeah, anything. Yeah, he's not in a core guy. Okay. <laughs> I love that, man. Well, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I think the setup that you have is pretty cool. Um, K is cool, don't get me wrong. But uh, I like the fact that somebody has taken a different approach, supercharged, non-V, uh, and it sounds very healthy. And oh, it's so nice. If, it, if, it's, if it's bulletproof, it's fun. Leave as is, man. Leave as is. Go get another car and K that well, one. Well, I have, I have another car that we're doing that already, too, but I mean, you That's know. A yeah, but that one's going to be all-wheel drive uh, yeah. K turbo, right? Yeah, but okay. I mean, you know. This car's already set up, so I mean, I could just drop the K motor in here for right now until I get all the rest of the parts. It's already set up for this. Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. This is good. This is this is what I like about this car, man. It's pretty fast. Yeah, I. I... All right, man. Thank you so much for making the time for us. Definitely, um, I love these old school setups. I like something different. You're right, K is cool and all, but I, I like these, um, this setup that you have on this car, the way you set it up, it's, it's OEM plus. Um, I think that it's pretty cool that you guys are salvaging parts, you and your buddies, and always pushing yourselves to 
hey, you know, check out this deal. Hey, check out this deal. It's a good thing, man. I mean, some people may not like it, <laughs> especially financially, <laughs> but it's a good thing, man. A so, deal's a deal, man. A deal's a deal, down. right? Yeah. But thank you so much for your time, man. Any shout outs? Yeah, I want to say uh, thank, thank you a lot. I appreciate uh, my buddy Tom at Streamline Audio in East LA for always hooking me up. My buddy Philip at Philip Auto Repair and, Remo and uh, Collision for painting the cars for me. And my buddy Tony at Loke Works for just continuously uh, building all the good stuff, you know, that's coming out. That's cool, man. And so, EG for life? Or no? It just happens to be that. Eh, my next car's gonna be a helicopter. A helicopter? Nah. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't be surprised, man. You're, <laughs> and then you put a K-Series in a freaking nah. helicopter. I Is wish. there another dream car that you're thinking of? A uh, dream car? Nah. I mean, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of projects that I need to get to, but I mean, that's later. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start putting together all those bets that we have and stuff. So you have too many projects. Yeah, I just no such thing. One, not, one thing at a time. One, one thing day at a time. time. <laughs> one build at yeah, a time. You gotta find the deals and then go from there. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you so much for your time, man. Not a problem. Badass build. Keep at it. Keep the car on the road. Keep it on the track. Just keep driving it, man. Thank you I so will. much for your time. Thank you. So it sounds like the guy was gonna come down from Ventura and you're the one who told him, hey, I got plans, I gotta go. <laughs> you, you had a cool feet, man.